yeah, the time's here again, and, and they're all rolling in you know, this morning, actually, and, and uh, getting ready for training camp here. It's been, you know, you, you go into the summer thinking you got a few time, you got a little bit of time to get a few things done, and all of a sudden here they are again, and, and we're kicking off for training camp. Uh, really, the next couple of days um, is spent with some protocol things and going through some player policy manuals and, and getting in, starting to dive into the playbooks and all phases, offensively, defensively, and special teams. Um, you know, doing physicals and, and uh, doing some leadership things as well. Um, the actual first practice will be Wednesday uh, afternoon. So, kind of preparing up to get to that point and uh, have all our I's dotted and our T's crossed. Dussold's punt and Cook picking it up off the bounce. And he's got a little bit of running room. You know, training camp has changed significantly over the last, oh, probably 10 years or so. And the fact that really the two a day format, uh, while you still have it available to you, it goes away depending on how your, your classes and your school schedule work. So we're in for you know, a week or so of practice, and then we start school. So we start practice this Wednesday, and school starts next Wednesday. With the NCA rules being what they are, with the five-day climatization period uh, where you can't have a two-a-day in your first five, you know, that leaves us with essentially only one two-a-day. Uh, once you start two-a-days, you can't have them on consecutive days. And then once you start school, you go back into your NCA 20-hour rule, which, uh, you know, greatly limits your, your availability with the players during that time as far as time concerns. Um, so, you know, it, it's, a, it's a little different approach, to be honest with you. And, you know, is it a good approach? I don't know. You know as a coach, you always want as much time as you can get uh, to, to feel like you're, you're very prepared going into the first game. But at the end of the day, everybody has the same rules. Um, the only thing that, that differs, with, differs with everybody's situation is when their institution uh, starts their first day of class. Going to go with the pump fake. Good job by Quays that time. He stayed right with him. Good and coverage. And Reiser there with excellent coverage, I think. He didn't get fooled at all by the pump fake. Yeah. If we didn't start class until the 27th of August, like some others, we'd have a full week of two-a-days. Uh, in, in, in our case, we're only going to have we only have one two-a-day practice because of how the schedule falls. And, and so we've got to try and find the time in other ways and, and make sure we're being very efficient with the time we do have.